Recently, length and partials have been blowing up the fitness world where you only perform the bottom one third to one half of a rep, so I had to try them out. Many recent studies have given solid evidence that muscle under load get the best growth stimulus when they're stretched out. So as someone who's always struggled with feeling my pecs and getting them a good pump, I've added length and partials to my arsenal and I gotta say I've been loving them. So I've been using them in two different ways. I've been adding them to the end of my final set, kind of like a little mini finisher, and integrating them throughout the entire set. So this is how you use each of the two strategies and my recommendations on how to do them. If you want to squeak a little bit more gains out of your sets, adding three to five long length partials to the end of your final set might be a great way to push your muscles muscles a bit closer to failure. And the second way where you integrate the partials into each set is great if you're short on time or a bit psychotic. This is where you alternate between a full range of motion rep and a long length partial and just alternating between the two. This will keep you in the most hypertrophic or muscle growing portion for a higher percentage of the set. This keeps you in the hyper- <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in. <laughs> you did this to yourself. Just know that these do a lot of damage, which is great for growth, but can add up fast. So if you decide to do them, just do a few to gauge how they impact you personally, and then keep going from there to figure out where you're at.